Okay, if we take a look at these two equations, they look pretty similar. I mean, we're using the same numbers and uh, kind of, you know, you know, we have x here and x here, a 2 and a 2 and a 10 and a 10. So, you know, it's like, hey, yeah, maybe they're similar to solve. But in fact, don't be tricked, <laughs> these two equations are totally different, okay? And the way we solve them is completely different. So I'm going to get into... Um, uh, what type of equations these are and how we solve them. See, these are basic examples of really important type of functions. You need to understand if you're taking anything from, let's say, an algebra class or beyond. So I'm going to get into that in a second, but first let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years, I'm talking many, many years, <laughs> I've constructed uh, a ton of online math classes. So these are high-quality, comprehensive math courses, but you can also use them uh, for math help. So if you're taking a particular class and you need some additional instruction uh, and you don't have time for a tutor and you want that flexibility, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. Also, I have notes for respective levels of uh, math classes. I'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video as well. So now, one of the things, if you've been following me on YouTube for a while, I'm a big stickler on notes. So my notes can help kind of supplement what, you know, what you're doing. If So if you don't have the greatest notes, you need some sort of written reference to study from. So anyways, you can check that out if you like. So let's get into uh, these two problems. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show them in this manner. So if you think you know how to solve them, Okay, I would certainly suggest that you pause the video real quick and see, you know, just quickly. If you know how to solve these, they'll take you a very uh, short period of time to, in fact, solve them. Okay, so let's talk about this first one, all right? Let's first identify it. What kind of situation is this? In fact, this is a quadratic equation, all right? Remember, the big thing in math is you gotta un you got to be able to recognize you know, what you're dealing with in order to uh, solve. So when we're talking about equations, again, if you haven't been following me on YouTube, this would be a good time, if you like my teaching style, to subscribe and check out um, some of my previous videos. I have post a ton of math videos just, you know, to help you out. But I talk about in algebra, we have all types of equations, okay? We have systems of equations. We have linear equations. We have exponential equations, quadratic equations, polynomial equations, rational equations, radical equations, yada, 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 right? There's a ton of different type of equations, and the way we solve these type of equations is different from one another, okay? So, you you know, you can't bring a, you know, like a hammer, right? here's a little hammer, okay? If this, solving this equation requires a hammer, you can't bring a screwdriver to solve this type of equation. You need to bring the right tool and the right approach to these equations. So solving equations in mathematics um, requires a lot of study because you obviously you need to have um, the right tool for the right situation. Okay, but before you can even do that, you got to recognize what's going on. So this equation here is in fact a quadratic equation. Okay, quadratic equation, meaning let me scoot this guy down here. What do you know about quadratic equations? So it's a little pop quiz, okay, uh, for you out there. Now, if you don't know anything, you're like, ah, I'm just watching this video trying to learn something, then don't worry about it. But if you've been studying quadratic equations, let me just ask you, what do you know about, about them? Well, you should know that they are a polynomial, okay? So they're a polynomial, what we call degree two. In other words, its highest power of the polynomial is two. And when you have a polynomial, uh, to a certain power, the highest power of that polynomial is how many solutions we have to that polynomial. So x squared is equal to 10. So how many solutions uh, you know, are we going to have in this particular uh, polynomial degree 2, which we call quadratic equations? We're going to have two solutions, two solutions, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, solve this guy here. There's a lot of different um, uh, techniques. Well, I'm going to say a lot. There's about, uh, let's see, we can solve quadratic equations uh, with the following techniques in general, okay? You can take the square root of both sides, all right, which I'm going to do here. You can factor. Now, I'm not even going to get into this. I'm just kind of summarizing the main techniques. So when you uh, can take the square root of both sides, that's what you want to do. 
When you can factor, you definitely want to do that. And if you can't do uh, either one of these, then we have to use our awesome secret weapon, the quadratic formula. Okay, so these are the three uh, approaches to solving something like this. All right, so let's get into this. Whoops, I meant to erase. All right, so this is a situation where we can simply take the square root of both sides. Okay, and we go like that, and we have x is equal to the square root of 10. Now, you might be saying, hey, you said there was two solutions. Yes, there are two solutions. When you take the square root of a positive real number here, like this 10, it's always plus and minus, all right? So just to emphasize that, if I say x squared is equal to 4, and I take the square root, right? It's going to be x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is plus or minus 2. But that's because 2 times 2, a positive 2 times a positive 2, gets me back to 4, and negative 2 times a negative 2 also gets me back to positive 4. So this plus and minus is, in fact, our two solutions. Okay, We have a positive version and a negative version of that answer. Those are our two solutions to this quadratic equation. Okay, so if you understand that and you, you said, oh, yeah, I knew what to, you know, to do there. I understand, get all this stuff. Even if you don't, let's say you understood how to solve this problem, but you weren't quite sure what was going on. This is a good, you know, review to strengthen your math um, understanding. You really want to master this stuff because as you advance in mathematics, you know, the stronger your, your understanding of all this little stuff will, will help you out uh, with more uh, future advanced math topics. All right, so now we come to a completely different situation. All right, so we had our original, let's scoot this down. All right, we had x squared is equal to 10. Looks kind of similar to this, and we solved it in this manner. Okay. All right, what about this guy? What is this? Well, this type of equation right here is completely different. We refer to this as an exponential, an exponential equation, an exponential equation, because this is a power, okay? This is a power right here, right? Most of you would say, yeah, that's a power. What's a power? Like we have two to the third power is equal to eight. That means 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. We multiply this thing by itself three times, we get this answer. Okay, but when we're talking about powers, this part of the power is called what? This big number down below. This is called the base, all right? And this little tiny little number uh, uh, up here and to the uh, right like so, okay, we call that, it's a superscript. We don't have to get fancy, but you just need to know it's called the exponent, okay? So we have an exponent and we have a base. The whole uh, thing is referred to as a power, okay? So we got to get this nomenclature down correctly. So um, let's get back to this. So because we're solving, because the variable is in the exponent, all right, right up there, we're trying to figure out 2 to the what power is 10. So this type of equation where the variable, the unknown value, is in the x exponent place is called an exponential equation. So really, really important concept here I'm going to teach you, okay? So we have exponential equations, all right? To solve exponential equations, we need something which is totally cool stuff if you haven't uh, uh, studied it yet. is called logarithms, okay? So to solve exponential equations, we need to understand how to work with logarithms, which I'm going to introduce you to them in a second. And to solve logarithmic equations, we need to use uh, exponents, okay, or powers, let's just say. That's because these guys here are inverse functions of one another, right? So that, I'm kind of get, going off on tangents and stuff, but this is just, again, you know, you got to ask yourself, do you really want to learn math or, or, you know, or not? There's no, at this level of math, you know, if you try to shortcut and you're like, I'm just going to learn, you know, what I just need to know to pass a test, that never works, okay? What happens is you're going to just bounce around and your grade's going to kind of do one of those things because math, math builds on itself, okay? So when, you know, for me, if you're watching my videos, my passion is to get you to understand this, to try to teach you in a clear and understandable way and we'll you know, start with fundamental problems, and then you can build on that foundation, okay? 
All right, exponential equation. We just talked about, um, you know, the concepts between um, how to solve these. We're going to need this thing called logarithms. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you real quick here uh, what we're going to do to solve this equation. We're going to take this thing called logarithms. All right, L-O-G. Okay, and we're going to uh, and uh, by the way too, if you have a scientific calculator or on your uh, cell phone, smartphone. If you go into your calculator function, on most uh, smartphones, your apps, your calculator app, I know on mine, I have an Android. If you switch it or turn it, there's another mode, basically. You can get to a scientific uh, mode where it's, you got the basic calculator, then you got, you know, where it's more advanced. You should find this button here, LOG. Okay, so you need to um, uh, find that button on um, whatever calculator you're having. So if you have a scientific calculator, it's definitely there. Graphing calculator, def definitely there. On your cell phone, uh, definitely should be able to find it. And if you can't do it, you can uh, download a app, a calculator app or whatnot. I'm sure you can find a scientific calculator app on these phones. Okay, so the way we approach solving this problem is we're gonna take the logarithm on both sides. But let's, before I do that, okay, let's just see what we're trying to do. Okay, we're trying to find the power, 2 to the what power is equal to 10? That's what we're trying to figure out. So let's just kind of mess around with this for a second. 2 to the first power is just what? That's just 2. 2, so it's not, that's not 10, right? How about 2 squared? All right, 2 squared is what? 2 times 2, that's 4. All right, it's getting closer to 10. Yeah, how about 2 cubed? All right, 2 to the third power, what's that? Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2, right? 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So it's getting pretty close, right? So 2 to the third power is 8. So I want to get to 10, right? So, you know, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. So let's say I have 2 to the fourth power. Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's four twos, and that's 4 times 4. That's 16. So oh, that's too, too much, right? All right, I want... 2 to the what power is 10. So if you just look here, okay, 2 to the third power is 8, 2 to the fourth power is 16. So what would be your guess in terms of the answer here? Well, it looks like it's probably going to be more than, obviously more than 3, but less than 4 in terms of our x motor. So it's going to be like 3 points something or the other, right? It's going to be some sort of decimal. So you can uh, kind of make a guess on what that is. So you can kind of see like, well, how do I get the precise exact answer? Well, we need these cool things called logarithms, right? And they are just awesome to uh, work with because they're, they allow us to solve these type of equations. All right, so let's get into the mechanics of solving this. And we're going to take uh, the log of both sides of the equation, all right? I got to do a whole nother video. Well, actually, I've done videos on logarithms on my YouTube channel. And of course, if you need to learn this stuff completely, you know, you want to check out one of my full courses, probably like my algebra two level course. Um, so here we go. We've got log of two to the X. So I'm taking the log of both sides. So remember in math, um, uh, you can do whatever you do to one side. And as long as you do it to the other side, you're okay. Now the log of a number, all right, this like LOG of 10, all, all you, if you have your calculator handy, you could just type in LOG of 10, okay, log of 10, and you'll get some a value out, all right? So this is just going to be some sort of decimal value. Now, uh, when we're dealing with logarithms, this little exponent up here, we can, there's a, what we call properties of logarithm. We could drop it in front of this. We could drop this little exponent and put it in front of this log two. So in other words, I could write it as X equals log two is equal to log 10, okay? All right, so these are just decimal values. So to solve this equation, this is just a number, and this is just a number. So to solve for x, I got to divide both sides of the equation by log 2. All right, and now when I go into my trusty calculator, I go x is equal to log 10 divided by log 2. You guessed it. I already did the work right here. Let me scoot down. You'll get this decimal. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Remember, we were kind of guessing that it would be x would be somewhere uh, more than three, but less than four, right? So 
you're going to get 3.321, and then there's some more decimals behind there, okay? So that is the answer. That's the solution to this exponential equation, all right? And you can plug that in, and you're going to get like 9.99999. You're going to get, you know, uh, very, very close to 10. Of course, that uh, particular value can go on and on and on. So big thing here that I want you to realize is don't just jump into uh, – uh, any equation problem without really thinking about, hey, what is what am I dealing with? Okay, you got to identify precisely what type of equation are you dealing with? Okay, quadratic, radical, rational, exponential, logarithmic, you know, um, higher order polynomial, complex number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is making your head spin. You know, that's just the world of math. Okay, that's why it's so important to, um, you know, never let any particular section of math go like if you don't learn something here i'll just give you this is the teacher in me <laughs> coming out so here is let's say an algebra course right and here's the various chapters and sections okay let's say you really like totally didn't get this particular um uh, section or chapter like you didn't do well right let's say you scored 72 percent on your test but more importantly you didn't understand it. Guess what? This thing is going to haunt you like a ghost. It's going to come, you know, it's going to be like, woo, you know, it's going to scare you and mess you up all the way down. It's going to chase you, right? You got to resolve these things. And that's the big thing I'm saying is you got to resolve uh, things that you don't understand in math because, you know, math built upon itself. I know your teacher says that, but it, it's the truth, okay? So in other words, you know, um, something you don't understand, all right, will come up later on. And then if you have more than one or two, three things you understand, oh, that's going to have a compounding effect. And then you're going to move on to your next course, and it's just going to, you know, that's why most people struggle in math, because I don't think they truly realize the importance of, hey, you got to understand everything that's being taught to the best of your ability. So use a program, uh, find a teacher, or get outside help, use a program like mine. Whatever you got to do, got to fix the problem. All right, so let's go ahead and just wrap this video up. Uh, again, quadratic equations, big topic. Exponential equations, big topic. Logarithms, big topic. So if you need more help in this, I'm certain I, ha I have a ton of, uh, I have hundreds and hundreds of math videos on my YouTube channel. So I'm sure I have a lot of things in my playlist on these particular topics. So hopefully you'll subscribe and check out some of those playlists. And again, if you like um, my teaching style and you really want my, you know, best quality, full, complete instruction. I do a ton of demonstrator problems. Uh, you definitely want to check out my math help program. And again, if you just want to pick up some notes, you know where to find those as well. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.